Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about Revenge. No, actually, it's a movie, Revenge, which I found via the Shutter app on Amazon Prime. This movie... I'm, I'm not really into this type of movie where it's a real-life situation and it's not monsters or zombies, but holy crap, this movie is something else. It starts out with Jen, our main character, being flown in via bougie helicopter to this wonderful house kind of in the middle of the desert. She's with her boyfriend and he turns out to be married, which she doesn't seem, you know, he takes a call from his wife while she's laying in bed and he gets back in bed and she seems kind of bothered about it, but just kind of goes along with it. So. The next morning, two of his friends randomly show up. She was supposed to leave before they came, but they ended up coming, I think, like a day or two days early for their yearly hunting trip, and we're very surprised to see her there. It seems like both of the friends are extremely enamored with Jen because she's very, very beautiful, and they're just, you know, they're, they're IFing her the whole time. And, you know, they're having some drinks and partying and she's dancing with everyone. And unfortunately, this leads to one of the friends thinking that it's something that it is not. And she lets him know, you know, I I'm not into you. Like, obviously she's dating other dude, but he does not take no for an answer. Unfortunately, he does assault her sexually. And when... Jen goes to her boyfriend about it. He's a complete asshole and she just wants to go, you know, leave. She wants the helicopter to come, threatens to tell his wife what's going on and he smacks her across the face. So, uh, like, obvious decision here, she runs and he goes after her. The friends go after her. They agree to call the helicopter, you know, get her out of there she just like doesn't want to be there she just wants to get away so what does he do pretends to call the helicopter and then promptly pushes her off a cliff she lands on this weird tree thing it impales her and they kind of just leave her for dead but nay nay she's not dead and she's pissed rightfully so and she gets ultimately what this movie is titled after revenge so I'm gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? It is so gory. It is incredibly gory. It has those really long lingering lasting shots of people digging into skin to remove something and you just wish the camera would pan away but it doesn't and I thought that the practical effects were really 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 good. I really liked that. Um, I liked that there wasn't a lot of dead time in it. It kind of just kept rolling, 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 which is great for a short attention span. So perfect, perfect. I thought that the characters' reactions to things were, you know, very realistic. There wasn't, well, save some of the stuff. Like some of the, the parts where people are shot or um, are, are pulling pieces of tree limbs out of themselves you think that they're going to react a little bit more over the top because that's got to be insanely painful. And sometimes you don't get that, but a lot of the times, like, the reactions just, like, Jen's reaction to being pursued and they're hunting her, essentially, completely, you know, tangible responses, and I really liked that. Um, I mean... There's, there isn't like a whole lot I can pick apart that is like and dislike because it's, it's like a really cut and dry movie. There's not a lot of layers to it, which is fine. And it was still a really great movie. Um, things I didn't like about it, obviously I don't want to see anyone being sexually assaulted. That's really hard to watch. Um, there was, it felt like with the, the friend that did, you know, do that to Jen, they were sort of building him to be like a sympathetic character because after everything happens, you know, he's like, why did you push her? 
you know, we could go down there, we could take her to a hospital, get lawyers, blah, blah, blah. And it just seemed like they were really kind of pushing for you to not completely hate that guy. But there was no way I couldn't hate him just because, like, he's obviously a terrible person. Because he did that. And, like, having these soft, warm, wonderful thoughts of what they could have done to help her afterwards does not make up for what he did. That's just, that's, that's my opinion. Um, I know probably a lot of people are gonna, you know, not sympathize with Jen as much because, you know, she is the other woman and she put her, quote unquote, put herself in this situation, but nobody deserves that. And if that is your thought process, please get off my channel because they're, no, no thank you. Um, I would probably rate this movie like a 3.5 out of 5. I had a really good time watching it. Initially, I had kind of just, you know, put it on while I was cleaning and would catch snippets here and there, and it would actually make me stop and just be like, oh my god, like that's still happening. Oh, like just a lot of blood. I really liked it. So then I rewatched it today and gave it my full attention and very good. So good. Definitely you should check this out. If you're a fan of I Spit on Your Grave, you're definitely going to like this. Uh, just be prepared to feel a lot of things like disgust, be it over gore or over, you know, really terrible domestic situations. You know, maybe if you're not in the best mind space right now and you're feeling a little delicate, don't watch this. Save it for when, you know, things are great everywhere. The world is great. The world is just not great right now. And I totally get it. But have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? Please leave me a comment down below. Do you have any other Shutter recommendations? You know, shout them out. I... I don't know if it's on Shutter or not, or if it's just on Prime, but I have Yummy on my list because it looks like it's a zombie movie, so I'm probably going to watch that one next. Um, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator Reviews. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews. On Twitter and Instagram, it's at Reanimator. I screwed that one up. I haven't filmed in months because it is so hot back here and it's unbearable and I can't wait to go back out into the living room because I'm just sweating. But, TMI. Also, you can find my reviews solo as well as with the groom on the Farsighted Network, uh, on iTunes via the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. My brain is actually melting, so what I'm saying might not make sense, but I hope y'all are staying well, staying safe, staying cool, and I'll see you later. Bye!